hold. Couple of clutches, tight window toss. It is a touchdown to Ronnie Bell. Hey, those tight window throws, they keep Kevin O'Connell happy because we know what he thinks about accuracy. It's an absolute necessity. Welcome to another free agent edition of Film Room. Along with Gabe Henderson, I'm Pete Bursich. We're talking about Sam Darnold here. Gabe, Sam Darnold was a high draft pick. We know he has the height, weight, the speed, the measurables, the arm strength. What is it about him and this KOC pairing that might just be very, very fruitful? Well, one, they grew up near each other. Their high schools are about 35 minutes apart, so there was some familiarity before Sam Darnold became a Viking. When you mix, mix and match that in to what, what Kevin O'Connell likes to run, I think it's a match made in heaven. Are you saying these California kids speak a different language? I, I, I think so. I think so, and it hopefully it be. works up it here in the be. Midwest. Yeah, let's, let's hope it resonates here in, yeah, in the Midwest. But <laughs> we put together some plays where I think really kind of surprised me about Darnold, yeah. but I, I can see where he is a fit for what we're trying to do here. And I think this first play is an absolute brilliant yeah. play by Donald and what he does and how he dissects this Baltimore defense. Red zone, kind of the deep red zone, but you're seeing three receivers, you know, trips formation, yep. running back offset. Watch what happens here, and it's all about the coverage and all about him finding the open lanes. Takes the snap, he gets to the top of his drop, and mm. what are we seeing here? We're seeing what you would call cover six. We defensive guys call it a cloud, mm -hmm. right? You guys, I don't know why you just use numbers. We use we use more. We, we, did, we our, like to think. Our like verbiage think. is better, I think. <laughs> but basically, this is the box and triangle. That's all it is. When yep. you hear a cloud, that's all. You got cover two over here on this side. You have three defenders, and here you have the box. First deep on the inside, first deep on the outside, first the flat, and then he sits on the middle guy. But what does this do? What does this leave? And you're seeing Darnold's getting ready to throw the football yeah. right now. He knows what he's going to see. What does he see? He sees this mm. area of the mm. field wide open, and he sees this relationship. If you're this wide receiver and you see that safety and you're head up on him and yep. you know it's cover two on your side, what are you thinking? If, there was a saying, if you're even, you're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the wide receiver, you're leaving, and you're about to go catch a touchdown in that open spot where you got circle right now. And that's exactly right. And that's what I love about Darnold is he's taking what he sees. He knows what his routes are, and he knows where to go depending on the coverage. And in this play, like I said, he's already throwing this football. Watch this. Throws the guy Ooh. open. I know KOC Accurate. saw that play and said, love that. We can build on that. Let's bring him in. Yeah, I just think of a play last year. I think it was the Detroit Lions game. TJ Hawkinson had a post down the middle, just a, you know, timing type throw. And we know that's what Kevin O'Connell likes to do. Timing, accuracy, precision. That's what Sam Darnold showed in that first play. All right, so he did it with San Francisco. What about when he's with Carolina playing against Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Another example, in the red zone, just absolutely destroying the coverage, knowing what he's going to get. Mm. In this case, again, three receivers to the top of the field. You get to the top of the drop, and what does he see? He sees, again, it's it's a, a cloud. You've yep. got the box up on top. You've got the cloud over here. Here's that triangle. Yep. Here's that box up here. He's saying, we got it, but we're going to attack it differently this mm. time. He knows this safety. He's not backpedaling, Gabe. Yep. He's, well, he's selling. Yep. And when you're a receiver, what are you thinking? If you're even, you're leaving. You're, either, you're leaving. So he knows that as this receiver – Takes himself on the inside, that guy is jumping it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what does that look like? What does that mean? Well, it means this. There goes the safety, Oof. but that post behind it. He that, that that corner is he's he's gone. Yep. He's supposed to be defending the deep in the outside. There's no chance. Yep. He's gonna get to this post route. Donald's already throwing this football, reads that coverage perfectly. Arm strength. Easy throw and catch for a touchdown. That's two plays of him just shredding yep. that coverage in the red zone. And I think one other good thing to point out is every catch that the receivers make is an inch in front of their face mask. When you talk about accuracy and not setting a receiver up to put his arms up high in the air, everything matters. Every vicinity matters. So Sam Darnold is a guy that knows where to put a football when he needs it most. Exactly right. That goes back to the accuracy that KOC talks about. How about attacking three deep? What are your, some of your favorite routes mm. attacking three deep? I think this might be one of them because it's a deep down the field. What do we got going on here? <laughs> Look like scissors to me. Yeah, scissors route. Great route against three deep. Why? Well, we're going to show you exactly what happens. You have this tight end running up the seam. And oh, by the way, we got a pretty good tight end. We got a couple pretty good tight ends that it's can true. stretch the field, right? Yep. yep. And we got good wide receivers on the outside. Love the scissors route. I think we got the people to do it. Yep. But watch what happens here. 
Darnold is starting to throw this football, but the key to this whole thing and what he's watching is this cornerback right here. Yep. Because if that cornerback were to settle and wait and let DJ Moore go to the safety, this throw wouldn't be open. But he sees that corner sinking. And what does that mean? That means what? This seven are up by the tight end. Look at that. Wide yeah. open. Had that corner just sat, that ball would have been thrown right to him. But it, it kind of shows what DJ Moore puts onto the pressure he puts onto a defense. And in that case, you can put Justin Jefferson there and basically say, look, if they're going to give Justin Jefferson all this attention, that opens up so many opportunities for TJ and for J Jordan Addison or for who any, whoever is not named JJ on our roster. So you're telling me that if you're a opposing cornerback and you're playing 3D, you're going to worry about the skinny post for JJ? <laughs> oh, my God. Why not? That's what's going to keep you up at night, right? <laughs> right? You're going to squeeze the hell out of that thing. <laughs> Whoop, there we go. So Darnold can do that. That's, yep. again, why I think this is such uh, uh, it could be such a good fit. Now, so can't play zone against him. He might tear you apart. Let's blitz him. Let's see what happens on this play. You're going to see Tampa Bay blitzing up front. But what does that mean? You've got man-to-man -man on the outside, right? What gives it away? You've got two defensive backs. They're rolled up, right? They're rolled up. Yep. They're saying, okay, we're going to chuck you at the line of scrimmage. They know what's going on, but what happens here? Watch this outside receiver. He's just giving the old, I'm going to get in the way mm -hmm. right in here, create a blob, and let this receiver come free. But what do you see on this that you like? I just like the ball placement, right? Like this is really good coverage by Antoine Winfield. And to put the ball outside where only the receiver can catch it, if the receiver doesn't catch it, it's an incomplete pass. And that's the best case scenario for a quarterback to be at. So to be able to place a ball in such, sight, in such tight quarters while a defense is coming at you, that shows a lot of his precision and poise in the pocket. And you said you went back and watched the Miami game again. You saw a couple of these plays last year, didn't you? I've seen this twice. I, I've even seen a, a clip of J.J. mic'd up, primetime purple, similar route. Yeah. Catch, blitz. Wasn't a touchdown, but it was a big-time first right. down. But so. it's important. So, if, you know, you can't play coverage on yep. the guy. If you want to blitz him, he has a way yep. out of it. But I think he has one more arrow in the quiver, and I think this play right here shows you what else this guy has to do this is a very good red zone type of a bootleg type throw but when he pulls up <laughs> this play is going the wrong way uh -oh. because he sees this defender right here so what does he know he knows there's no chance i can get myself on the outside the problem is he has to buy himself some time mm -hmm. he got this deep crosser mm -hmm. coming in the back of the end zone it takes a while for this play to develop so what does he do Watch what he does. It's just amazing how he buys himself some time, puts his feet in the ground. Look at that throw. What stands out about that throw? He's back hash throwing the ball off his back foot to the other side of the field. And where does he Accurate. put it? Accurate. Right on the money. I think it's worth noting when Sam Darnold was a starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers in 2022, that Panthers team was 4-2. and two. I'm not going to say put some correlation between the two, right. but the guy has played some big time football right before he got injured. All right, so he might just be a, a you know a, pro, a process fit away. Now, the last thing mm -hmm. I want to talk about is athleticism. We mentioned he's a first round draft pick, very high first round draft pick. He can run, he can do all these things. The guy can move, and this is a perfect example of this. This is a this is a kind of a quarterback's nightmare to get to the top of the drop. You have a little bit of a spacing route that yep. gets messed up, but what does he see right here? There is nobody <laughs> open, right? This isn't going to get you the touchdown. It's third down. That's not going to get you the touchdown. That's yeah. going to be throw, catch, tackle, yep. kick the short field goal. So what does he do? Well, we're going to have to go to the end zone. You're going to see exactly what's going on here. As that play develops, you see him looking. Everybody's covered. The rush goes underneath. So what does he do? He buys himself some time. But watch this throw. On the mm. run, <laughs> beeline, DJ Moore, corner of the end zone. He can kind of make it up as he goes, too. He can extend plays, but to your point of just ball placement, putting the ball where either his receiver catches it or the sideline catches it and you live to play another down. Right. I think four of those plays shows what Sam Darnold can do when he has pressure in his face. Well, no question. Athleticism, strong arm, accuracy, all the things KOC likes in a quarterback, we have right here in Sam Darnold. The question is, will he make it fit? Well, we will see this season. This has been Vikings Free Agency.